Hello and welcome. If you had the chance to change your fate, would you? <laughs> Today we are going to be talking about Brave. And yes, this was a wig that I used for my Ariel cosplay, cosbound, whatever you want to call it. And I am recycling it because I know that her hair is a little bit more orange, but this is the best I have right now. And so we're gonna group, we're gonna go with it. Fun fact, I have never met Merrily yet in the park, so I wanted to for the longest time, and I even made candy for her that says, um, if you had the chance to change your fate, would you? Well, I, don't, I didn't put the would you, I just put if you had the chance to change your fate. But I haven't been able to give it to her yet, I haven't met her, so... Soon. I met her one time. I think. Um, but that was when I was doing the college program with her mother. So I'll put the picture here. But besides that, I've never met Meredith in the parks. I really need to do the next trip. <laughs> Let's talk about Brave. If you had the chance to change your feet, would you? Brave was released in 2012, and this is Pixar's first princess film. It takes place in Scotland, and Scotland is an amazing country, and I'm really excited that they were able to bring more attraction and tourism into this place with a lot of history. I am sadly not Scottish myself, but my cousin is, so I only get the Irish from part of the family, so I am pure Irish, but Scottish I am not. But I have, they're very similar in a lot of sense, and they also have a lot of differences, so it's cool to be able to see how the history is and just focus on this cool Scottish story. And this time, we have Kelly MacDonald, who plays Merida, and Emma Mott Thompson, is the mother who also was Nanny McPhee and so many amazing characters and she's a really and she was in Beauty and the Beast an amazing amazing role so she's a very um high-end Disney actor. Come out come out <laughs> come on out <laughs> Where are you, you little rascal? I'm coming to get you. This is also directed by Mark Andrews and Brenda Chapman. So yay, we have some female directors. This is what we need to see more of, some female directors. So that automatically makes this amazing as a film. And I really appreciate it because it is a female protagonist story and it is Pixar's first female protagonist as well as first princess film they've done. So it's really important to know that it was directed by a woman and she was able to put in what was needed to make a story fantastic. This time we also have a different music composer as well. This one is done by Patrick Doyle, who also did the music for Thor and Thor Ragnarok. So, amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. And there are a couple of original songs within this film, but I think Touch the Sky is the only one that is really known. And that one also is my favorite as well. This one I've listened to for years. But I forgot how many are actually in this film. <laughs> Probably like everyone else has. When it comes to the actual plot, it is a very fitting story. and It's a very mother-daughter bonding type of story. But honestly, looking back at it and now actually seeing Brother Bear, um, this film is too much like Brother Bear and Beauty and the Beast combined without the romantic atmosphere of it, but the transitioning aspect of it, that she changes from a human to a bear, and the transition on how she changes back, is very like Beauty and the Beast. The characters are really solid though. It's a very, very important female empowerment film. And I really do appreciate it because I love the transition that Disney has been making with their princesses. So you have Milan, you have Merida, you have even Pocahontas is like the beginning of it that people forget. And they are all very like female empowerment, we can do it ourselves, we don't need anyone type of deal. And yes, Milan and Pocahontas did have love interests, but remember, Merida is also like 14, 15 I think at this point, I don't really know her age for sure, but she's not ready to get married and it's all of a coming of age story for her and how she handles it and that she wants to be able to just be able to rule the kingdom on her own 
and be able to just do her horseback riding and enjoy her archery and be able to just be a kid still honestly at this point it's all about that she just wants to be a kid and is not ready to go into the princess world and rule a kingdom yet plus you also the suitors that are given to her that's a joke but none of them are any good looking except for the one guy now and that's the one suitor that has all the fangirls it's so hilarious now because it was never planned like this but he looks so much like Adam Driver who is Kylo Ren from the new Star Wars films and it's kind of a very ironic hilarious afterthought because of the fact that this wasn't planned this was made in 2012 and I think at the point Adam Driver was still in the military I don't remember but he wasn't known as an actor until 2015 when Star Wars came out. He was on Girls Previous but before that he didn't really do that much acting that was known. So he wasn't in the Disney canon. He wasn't Kylo Ren until this couple of past years. So the fact that he looks so much like him. Who defended our land from the northern invaders and with his own sword stabbed Bloodhound. Vanquish a thousand <laughs> It's just so ironic and it adds an extra element that was a surprise element that we would have never expected because a lot of people think that he's an ugly person that a lot of females like. I am a fan of his. I understand that he can be attractive in the sense of being differently attractive and I think it's more of personality so in that aspect plus I love Kylo Ren. Well, here's another picture of you here. Now is that you? Uh, yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, okay. yeah, that's you, yeah, yeah. We have another, another picture of you here. Here you go, this is you. Me going to the store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the character of Kylo Ren is just an emo white teenager. So those are my reasons and I've seen other people have their reasons as well but it's just really funny that like, he's the one person that is kind of the attractive person with a bunch of fangirls and he looks like Kylo Ren who has a lot of fangirls on top of everything. <laughs> this is a gorgeous 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 film. I love the accents. I wish I could do the accents better because the Scotch accent is very very hard to do but the whole United Kingdom and that whole element of Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, Ireland, England, etc. They are all amazing and I admire their culture so much. So I'm really proud to have this film around. It's very important for females to look up to, especially young girls, and it's really empowering role model. So I'm really glad that we have this modern day princess step back in old history. <laughs> And they do a great job of it. It's a lot more serious of a film. There's not really that much humor in it. The humor does come from the three little bears slash boys. And the jokes to me are kind of more for a, a younger crowd. I don't find that humor funny, but the relationship between Merida and her mother is very important and anyone can relate to. I feel like everyone, especially if you are a daughter, you go through tons of times where you fight with your parents and especially with the teenage phrase that she is currently going in with it when it's set so it's something extremely relatable no matter how old you are and they do a wonderful fantastic job I love the music I love the cinematography is wonderful for this animation and everything just is beautiful so if you haven't seen Brave please check it out <laughs> If you had the chance to change your face, you should change your face and go see it. And I apologize for this terrible accent. I'm not even trying. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to take a look at another short. Because these are where I'm coming up to my favorite. So we're going to be talking about the blue umbrella. So stay tuned. And as always, I hope you have a magical day. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.